Hello and welcome to Dreamscape Marketing's fourth tutorial in WordPress. Uh, today we'll be discussing adding and editing images on your WordPress site. Uh, images are a great way to make your site more dynamic and just better than having just plain text everywhere. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and go to my uh, dashboard here. And there are two places you could add images. You could either add them through your media gallery here, which you can kind of upload all your images in advance and then organize them. Or you could add them as you're editing or adding new pages and posts. Uh, the methods for adding images for pages and posts are identical. So uh, I'm just going to walk through one of them. It's the same exact process. Uh, and then we're going to get into some of the more advanced features. I like to add my images you know, to my posts as I'm writing them or after I write them, see if I need one somewhere. So we're going to go ahead and Im add an image to uh, this blog entry. And uh, just to show you this entry, it's it's quite plain. There's nothing but uh, it's nothing but text. There's the site live, just just a lot of text. So we're gonna add an image to brighten it up. Uh, so when you're adding an image, what you uh, need to do first is select where you want your image. Uh, just put your cursor click where you want the image. I want the image at the beginning of this paragraph. Uh, so just leave your mouse cursor there, click once, and then we're gonna go and upload an image. Uh, it's the same exact process as we had. Uh, during the first tutorial uh, and then we're just going to take it a few more steps from there so again just select file and I believe I'm gonna use this image okay and we're gonna upload alright so while this is uploading just a, a brief overview of what we uh, went through in the first tutorial with the image uh, the image name is important to change uh, it's actually important from a couple of standpoints uh, First, if a, if a reader scrolls over, they don't want to see iStock 0, 0, 0, 0, you know, that doesn't mean anything. But, um, you know, secondly, it's actually important because when your website is uh, ranking, uh, if the images have keywords related to your website uh, and your blog, uh, then they actually improve your rank. So it's always good to have relevant title for your image. So um, I'm going to say, I'm just going to change the title to... Uh, Match.com for business partners. It's the name of my uh, blog entry. You know, blog entry. You could change it to whatever you want. And then as we scroll down here, there's the link URL, which I briefly went over in the first tutorial. We're gonna leave this here. This will allow uh, a reader to click on the image and see a full size of it. Uh, but then we're gonna manipulate that a bit later. And then our alignment and our size. Um, they usually give you three to four options for size, the full size obviously, which is a little too big for the website, and then they give you a medium and a thumbnail size. I think medium is going to be the right size here, it's good to start, you could always change it. And I'm going to leave the alignment at none for now, uh, because we're going to get into changing the alignment uh, shortly. So click insert into post, remember click if you click save all changes, the image will not go in, you need to click insert into post. So our image appears here, and uh, now it's on the site. So we could take a look. We'll preview changes. No need to publish yet. Um, and when this appears, you can see. All right. So the image looks okay. It's it's in the middle of the page, uh, and when you click on it, it's live. So, you know, take somebody to the image. You don't always necessarily need that, but if you have images you you know, think your users want to see, uh, you know, photographic work, artwork, engineering schematics. Uh, it's not a bad idea to leave that live so that they can see an enlarged version of it. Um, but for our purposes, uh, we, we want to look at how to make this image blend in a little bit more with a page. And, and often that's by allowing the words to wrap around the image over here. Uh, so to do that, to edit the image, all you do is click on it and you, you have an edit image uh, icon. This one's to, to delete the image if you don't want it uh, on your page. So just click that icon and you're given the options here and what you want to do is align the image to the left or the right side of the page when you click left see the text build right around the side of the page uh, right around the side of the image and uh, that's really it the, the t we'll just take a look at that and we could edit it a little further uh, so you see the text comes up on the side we'll preview it again and it looks much cleaner there it fits right in with the site and uh, you know, it's the, the the site can flow right around the image rather than the image sort of you know jutting out in the middle of the text. If you want the image to have a little more spacing on the right or the left or the top or the bottom, that's pretty easy to implement. Uh, we just go in again and edit the image, and in the advanced features, 
you go down to image properties and you want to give the image horizontal space or vertical space. So you, you do this by just, just type in a number. The numbers correlate to pixels. I uh, usually want to start low, 5, 10 pixels. Uh, in this case, I'll put 20 so we can see a difference. That's 20 pixels on each side of the image uh, that will be bumped out. You can see it there. And I only want it on the right side of the image. I think the, since the left side's against the side of the page, I'm going to go ahead and you could just delete this as long as you leave the margin right 20 pixels. And I'm also going to add a border. If you want to add a border, it, it defaults to a black border, which is fine. And I'm going to do a two pixel border, gets it on the image. So we just go ahead and hit update. And now our image, if we hit preview changes, you can see it has a nice border around it. It has more spacing than it did before and it looks pretty good uh, the last thing I want to do with the image is change the uh, link to something else so this image doesn't link to its you know it's it's just itself I want to link it to another website uh, so we're gonna go in and edit the image again and just go to the link URL here and we change this to let's just say Google you know whatever website you have in mind here and always put in the HTTP colon slash slash before you type in the name so that WordPress knows you're going off of your site and hit update and we will now uh, just just update the page let's see how it looks so after you hit update page post is updated let's go to the page just hit refresh all right our image is there it looks great it's got a border it's uh, aligned to the left and when you click the link, it actually takes you right to Google, which is excellent. So that's really all for the basics of images. You can do whatever you want. You can get creative with uh, the borders and the alignment. And, uh, you know, the sky's really the limit. If you want to enhance your images with uh, photo galleries, there are great plugins available. And we'll discuss plugins in a later tutorial. Uh, but WordPress, people have developed plugins that are free for the most part that'll let you show your images in a number of different ways. Uh, but that's for another day. That's all for this tutorial. Uh, and we'll be back soon. Thank you.